You calculate April phone sales from the information your sales team members provided. Gabrielle reports 4,113 phones sold in the last year. This is Gabrielle right here. You decide that a fair way to calculate Gabrielle's April phone sales is to divide the number by 12 because we have the entire year here. I'm going to divide by 12 to get the month, giving her 342.75 sales or approximately rounding 343 phones sold. We're just saying that for the month of April. Why might some of your sales team members disagree with your approach? Select all that apply. Be careful, there may be more than one correct answer. A. Gabrielle could not have sold 343 phones in April. Now, we're not sure how many phones she exactly sold in April. She only gave us information about the whole year. But this is possible, so we can't say that this is impossible, so this does not apply. What about B? Gabrielle likely did not sell the same number of phones each month throughout the year. So other salespeople might complain, that's not fair, you can't just take the average. April could be a slow month compared to December where people are shopping for Christmas. So it's not really fair just to take the average. Perhaps other months which are a lot faster will bring up the average. This is definitely a valid point. Now what about C? Gabrielle is the only sales team member whose April phone sales were calculated by averaging. Yes, it's true that Gabrielle's calculation amount for the month of April was averaged based off this year amount. But there's lots of averages in these other salespeople as well. Look at average year, average, average. Even we see Ainsley. We don't even know exactly how many she sold in April. We just know that the amount is the last 60 days. Perhaps she f sold zero in April. We're not sure. So she's not the only one. So this does not, not apply. What about choice D? Gabrielle's phone sales could be calculated by dividing this number, her total sales for the year, by 365 days. And by doing so, the total number of phones for the years divided by 365 days will give us a number of phones sold per day. So we take that number of sales per day, multiply by 30. That's pretty fair. That's a legitimate approach. So this approach is similar to what we did previously up here. We took that number, 4,113 phones, divide by the number of months. And so using this approach, which is similar to the one above, is slightly different, interestingly. Because the truth is that each month does not have exactly 30 days. So either way, this approach or the initial approach could cause some contention among team members. So we're going to choose B and D.